With prices skyrocketing in the suburbs, people are looking for a good value in a home, even if they have to remodel it. And there's always one or two special neighborhoods in a big city. This one is in Tucson, Arizona, called Menlo Park. Joining me now is Tony Ray Baker, a realtor at Remax Select. Good to see you, good Tony to see Ray. You. How are you? I'm great. Thank awesome. you so much. Menlo Park. Okay, it's like right next to downtown. Right. And I see the older homes. I see the famous A Mountain in the background, the signature of Tucson. Right. Tell us about this neighborhood. I love this neighborhood. Actually, it's one I've got my eye on uh, personally. The um, the thing about this neighborhood that I love is that what's happening here is people have been ignoring it for many years. And it, it doesn't have sidewalks and it doesn't have great street lights. It doesn't have all those amenities that people typically want. But what's happening is next door to it is all of these beautiful homes coming in and Caterpillar Corporation and this is going to be Freedom Park and you've got the MSA Annex and it's all close to a freeway and it's all close to downtown. So you're saying buy these neighborhoods, these special gems on the future. So you kind of got to know, your realtor needs to know what's coming. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so what did you say yeah. was coming with this field right here? Okay, so this was an old landfill back in the day because of course we always <laughs> put trash where we want to live. It made no sense <laughs> to me, but so the city spent a ton of money to evacuate everything here and they dug all this out and they put this land back um, with Caterpillar Corporation coming in. And this is a big employer right here. Caterpillar is a big deal. Yeah, the headquarters. yeah, bringing lots of really uh, great jobs and uh, money to this economy. Right. Um, and so this is supposed to be Freedom Park. So that's gonna be a really beautiful use to add a park into this area for all of these residents. Downtown, you could literally walk or ride a bike to it. Yes. Uh, right down the road, you'll see some traffic. These cars are zooming by. There's actually a streetcar connection right there, so you can grab the streetcar and do the streetcar loop. Look off. at these beautiful new buildings right here. It's already starting. Yeah. So these homes over here, this is the future. Might as well get in on this before the future moves in. Yeah. What's this neighborhood? Um, this is the Mercado. It's a, it's a very beautiful development that was in planning for many, many years. It's now coming to fruition. The beautiful thing about what they're doing here is they're including all segments of, of people here. So there's senior housing, there's workforce housing, luxury housing, all of those are rentals, and then you've got the neighborhood single-family resident homes that go from 700000 to $2 million. I love it. Yeah, so you've got everybody able to live in this area at the same time. So Tony Ray, we can walk to a, a real example of a home that mm -hmm. you can redevelop yeah. and we'll give you some pricing. That's coming up next. Yeah. Continuing our topic of looking for gems of homes in neighborhoods that need to be refurbished, joining me now is Tony Ray Baker, realtor at Remax Select. Okay, Tony Ray, I'm looking at it. <laughs> I see kind of what you mean. Yeah, this gets me excited actually because I want this property. Um, this would be a great, look at the land here. I mean, look at the amount of space here. And on, you have two houses flanking this property that have both been completely remodeled. So you take this property and you you bring this back up to what these are presenting. And I mean, it's, well, who wouldn't want this? I mean, it's amazing. And it's right here at the Mercado. So not holding you to it, but ballpark, what are we talking about price-wise for a, a home like this in the rough? I would probably pay myself, I'd probably pay two, 250 for this. So I could put another 100,000 into remodel and still come out ahead if I was a flipper and wanted to make profit. Yeah. Now you're saying right next door, this was one of your success stories. Yeah, this is uh, definitely a success story. This is one of the very first houses in the area that was remodeled. Um, the builder, his name is Caleb, he's amazing. He picked this property up for a really good price and then he brought it back to life and he called me to represent him on selling the property and we were very aggressive and it sold right away. And You can't even tell that it's not a brand new mm -hmm. bungalow, it looks beautiful. <clears throat> Yeah, he did a, so that's another thing about our builders here. They're doing a great job at capturing and, and reviving the old style and making it look new, but leaving the neighborhood feeling very much the same. Robert, this is a really great example of a house that was remodeled in this neighborhood and the owner made a mini paradise back here. The vegetation, the concrete, it's just amazing what you can do with these beautiful homes that 
people are bringing back to life. I love it, it looks beautiful. I know, I have another one right down the road I wanna show you. Let's do it. Let's do it. Robert, this is a, another great example of what's going on in the same neighborhood. This property was originally probably purchased for about 100,000. Uh, it was in desperate need of uh, remodeling. One of the major parts about this property is, and the value is the proximity to everything right. you have across the street. Yes, no, it's the a- The location's amazing. It's a great house. It feels giant inside. Yes. And then of course you drive out and everything is all around. And this is happening every single day on these properties. So yes. yeah, yeah. if you want to take a part of gentrification, you need to act before the prices continue to climb. Yeah, get in now. Tony Ray, thank you so thank much. Thank you.